kade opinion dia mante mante na sabe sabe opinion sabe nutu no kwotokroba it mo beti bia no opinion kan se mo de ete but all the same here because of politics it e be your opinion bi oba kan asabe bia na ka ye susu de nka onya nka wanka because ye hwe bebe ye rekor ye hwe bebe ye fi ba ye hwe nya ma bi me simo si o aya i don't think de nka da mo bo bo enso no opinion wa ka mi onya bi bia but get to me mu de former president domani mahama and I've been chilled like a sebi na debi on shed and shay. Mama gana fu be na wobu fu. Because all I den yen the pain or tedam. Ida idia man yu kum nyim. Nsu tumu cancer mot tedam. Or from yafa, but to my fame kuska. Yen she and some ma a bay ken nevi at shawaji on comment section. Is this election about policies or insults? You decide. You have all those people walking around writing stupid things on social media. This election is about the economy, stupid. Oh, no, no, I mean that, hey, no, no, it's serious. Is this election about policies or insults? You decide. You have all those people walking around writing stupid things on oh. social media. This election is about the economy, stupid. I believe that Ghanaians are small-minded and that you can tell them anything just to win their votes. So put a paragraph on Airbus to equalize the discussion. I mean, what stupidity is this? It does not affect what happened in the past. And what he says is a bit silly. That is how silly <laughs> what he's saying is. What? Is this the man who wants to be president? Never again. Now, let's listen to what our revert chiefs are saying about Dr. Baumia. On society, I want Brazil. Your campaign, which is grounded on evidence, is issue based and devoid of insults. Papa, your who Brazil for year, Papa, Papa. Just say, oh, you have a fro, oh, your penny, no, Papa, bread and wash him out. I can't go say. Boot number one on the ballot. Inti, what kind of demia no chede? I'm a BBM who I am for that man. Who we ask me is more here. Now, the baby I'm here can't see me be demia. But we, we be a channel to be free. Now, sabi sabi, eh, why do they be this this here? Atem research work. You are the one informing the general public. General public did not tune in to 99.7 or 97.3 city to listen to Samije View. They tuned in to listen to City Radio or to Joy FM. Or to OKFM OK or to Asempa Radio. That's what they tune in to listen. So you have a responsibility to put out information that has to be correct. You do not always listen to MPP, NDC, and then you put the story together. You must have. So that after you have said what MPP has said, after you've said what NDC has said, they said that, okay, but now here's Joy News Research Desk, X number person. What did you find? He said, okay, we found out that there's a conflict between Article 77, 97, and 99. And how the conference resolved, we spoke to this judge. He said this. We spoke to this person. He said this. Our in-house lawyer said this. Then you are beginning to build credibility for your media house. Because nobody wants media houses not to give their opinion. Everybody is happy with that. That's what Fenyamaka was saying. You can give your opinion. What we ran down the touch screen is purely our editorial opinion. We have to make sure that it's correct. Otherwise, people don't, listen, don't respect what we do. If we put things out here that are wrong, people don't respect what we do. If people don't respect what we do, we are out of business. So that's our responsibility that whatever we put out here must be solid. And then we can add other opinions. People tune into Good Evening Ghana to watch Good Evening Ghana, not necessarily to listen to a politician. If listening to the politician helps them to form an opinion, they are happy that Good Evening Ghana brought that politician. Okay, they say I'm talking too much. I should stop. I'm very passionate about media, media stuff when it comes. But I saw my friend Captain Smart saying something. When he got very disappointed about the... <laughs> about the NDC's inability to take up the minority majority seat in parliament. He said something about NDC. But look, listen to my friend God's Braid. Listen. Nadrina Matias, yes, sir. NDC a useless grouping. And run Nadrina Matias, yes, sir. 
NDC is a useless grouping. And no one has joined me to say NDC is a useless grouping. And no one has joined me to say and run, I do that. It is not a problem. It is about the people who are adv advancing the course of the campaign for either, either candidate. I think that the people advancing the course of the campaign for John Mahama must step up their game. We have 44 days to go, but they still must step up their game because at the, I mean, at this, as of today, everyone knows that Dr. Baumia has done more campaigning than John Dramani Mahama. Well, the Dr. Baumia need to do more campaigning. Yes, he, did, he needed to. He was a government candidate. People said the economy is not working. People said he's a liar. He needed to come out of his cell and show the people what he has been doing in the back room. Uh, after six months, four months of the campaign trail, it appears that gradually people are beginning to hear Dr. Baumia out. They're hearing him out. And um, it's, it's a sort of changing some things for his fortune in the December election. It's beginning to look another way. Okay, it's one minute past uh, 10 o'clock uh, on the clock. Let me bring in this conversation as we talk about campaign. And uh, we'll be mounting the touch screen very soon on the book and then also on the, the American election. Wait for that. Wait for that. Okay. Um, le the the uh, message. You know, I was talking about John Mahama's campaign. And I've, I've been concerned about it, that when we have elections in Ghana, in 2028, we want it to be such that both political parties have a high profile level of uh, plans, programs, slogan, policy. We have to bring it up to that level. That's, that's what I've been worried about. I've been worried about a campaign that doesn't seem to be pushing up to tell the youth that this is what I have for you. When the campaigns do that, it suggests that they don't respect the Ghanaian people. They don't, they don't care about them. Because you want people to vote for you, you really must have a message. You must put a message together. It may be wrong, it may be left, it may be right, but it is a message. You must have something that you are communicating to the people and telling them that this is the reason why I want you to vote for me. If you are not telling them the reason why you want them to vote for you, then why are you running the election? Why should they give you the power in the social contract, uh, uh, Rousseau's social contract? We should give you the power so that you can rule, but you're not telling us what you're going to use the power for. Because the power belongs to all of us, you see. So if we give it to one person, which we all do on December 7th, we have to at least know what that person is going to do. We are all not going to vote for him. And human beings all over the world don't vote because of policy only. People vote because of other reasons. And you have to grant human beings that. Maybe they vote because I may vote because somebody is handsome. I vote because he's tall. I vote for a woman because she's pretty. I vote for a man because he speaks my language. I vote for a man because his name is like my own. Yes, there will be all of that kind of thing. It will be there. But it will be reduced to a significant minimum once the policy decisions, the big ticket issues, why are we voting for you? Here's a conversation between Ambassador Spiel Gabra, uh, NDC stalwart, and CTFM's Bernard Avle speaking just after the 2016 election. And I'm suggesting to you that the things that Spiel Gabra said in that interview are relevant and present today. Have a look. I'm going to ask NDC communicators, what was our communication message for 2016? They say, well, they can't remember it. I'm going to ask them, what was MPP's message for Ghana in 2016? They, they rattle off a lot of things. 2016, Abaton, Abba message, Nekacha Ghana for the Yaba, what to Abama Hena Yabe, Hana Nobeke, your message is Nibi. Okay. We'll change your life and transform Ghana. I see. You see, MP, MP4 message in one of the KB. 2016 election. Very good. How about you? Three, three SHS. Yeah. One bit, one down. These are your communicators. NDC communicators, 58 of them in Asante region, and many other delegates I've met all Ooh. over the country. They couldn't tell, tell me you. what message NDC had for the people of Ghana in 2016. Maybe if you raise your hands, what was our message? No, seriously. And they say, well, we didn't have a message. What about message we oh, have? There is the infrastructure, something. something. No, no, they said, well, that's a green book. But the green book is not the message. 
And in the case, the Green Book only wow. demonstrated that NDC had done wonderful infrastructure work. Yes, very important. But they put our music on those platforms. It's not surprising that the, the returns in terms of the payments that are made to our musicians are very little. Very little. Uh, and they are not much to write home about in, in general. And so the issue for, for us of making sure we have a, a streaming platform locally uh, for music uh, and put in all the catalogs from, from A to Z that we can find in Ghana on the platforms. That has been something that it has needed uh, to be done for, for a long time. And so we've been uh, working on this issue. Uh, Musica, Gamro, the music producers, and the private sector, the IT sector. We've been trying to, over the last couple of years, see about putting together a music streaming platform uh, digital uh, man uh, platform for Ghanaian content developers in the creative arts, as I said, to facilitate the tracking, collection, and distribution of royalties in the first place, and also to enable creativeness and assess and manage revenue, and also to help man maximize opportunities. So that is a very, very important part when I, so I, I had a meeting today, as I said, I, one of the meetings I was to have today was on, to get an update and we'll take some decisions on the streaming platform. On the streaming platform, I am very happy to let you know that the work has been completed. The work has been completed and we have joint work between Musica, Gamro, the produce, music producers, and the private sector. And it has been completed. And we are going to support this and uh, make sure that uh, we take care of the development expenses related to this platform for the industry. So in all, uh, I think, Today, I was satisfied after the various presentations that were made to me that we are ready to outdoor this new local streaming platform for Ghanaian musicians and film, film producers. That was al Haji Bahamadu Baumia talking to uh, the recently talking to the um, the musicians and the stars, the creative arts people, about uh, how he wants to help them make uh, returns from streaming platforms. And so he's going to create a national streaming platform because when you stream on Spotify, uh, the deductions are many. Deduction to the government where Spotify is, taxpayers, uh, uh, deduction to Spotify is tax, deduction, deduction, deduction. But if you're streaming it locally, it might make, uh, it might be better. It might, it might, it might work better and you might make more money. That's what he's telling the, the musicians. That's what he's thought about their problem. He's been sitting down thinking about their problem because they are an important stakeholder. They are an important part of the Ghanaian community and they are an important part if we want to use them for a development agenda. Every country uses this creative as for a development agenda. So you can't have India without Bollywood. You can't have America without Hollywood. And, and it is, it is an, a very, very critical part of the development agenda and something also to be able to export. So every politician, every leader must be able to think, must think about creative arts. He must sit down and have days and hours thinking about what we do with creative arts because we do have the talent. That's what some countries don't have. We have an amazing flow of talent in that area. So that's what Dr. Baumia was doing. So when you have a leader without a message and he's not also thinking about uh, what can I do for people who have...